It's time to buckle up because we're talking about two of the best racing games on the Super Nintendo. A frenetic, fast-flying, futuristic formula racer, and a kid-friendly, easy-to-play, but hard-to-master kart racer. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which one of these high-speed experiences moves forward in our tournament. It's F-Zero versus Super Mario Kart on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. That's right. Hey, two racing games. Two racing games. Taking full advantage, displaying <laughs> what the Super Nintendo can do with Mode 7 graphics. Yep. And I do... Okay. Let's start off with our general review of, like... Yeah, yeah. Can we start with just mechanically? Yeah, oh, yeah, let's go there. Because Super Mario Kart... Let's, let's get the elephant out of the room. Super Mario Kart has multiplayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. F-Zero does not. It does not. That is a big deal. I feel like that is the biggest difference between these two games, and that's what's going to give mechanically Mario Kart the edge off the top. Yeah. I feel I feel like there's just so much more variety in when you race. I mean, it's Mario Kart. It is the granddaddy of the kart racer. Yeah, it does it's the kart racing it, granddaddy OG. It certainly does make the levels feel different because of the different obstacles like the one mm -hmm. level has um, the little Monty moles jumping up and on the screen yeah. and rah, rah, rah. Or, you have, or you have like uh, your, your ghost your ghost levels and you're like duck, 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 you know you're yeah. running over your wood planes yeah. you can see the cart bouncing um, you know, and of course we're not talking about the items you know your shells but yeah and... so F-Zero I think the, the comparison here is that F-Zero is just every level is just futuristic racetrack basically yeah. with a different backdrop basically um, it's it's basic. like, this is the red level this yeah. is the white level. This yeah. is the blue level. This Still is still fun with what it does. It's Absolutely. Fun. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'd be willing to say it's so bland at times. I'd be willing yes. to say as far as driving and the control, F Zero feels, feels, feels without a doubt. Better. Feels a little better yeah. and it feels way faster. I Mario, feel like Mario Kart feels a little loose. Dude, when, yeah. you, when you come off that starting track and Mario Kart is Oh, it's it, it takes, or it, takes a a it feels like an, I mean it, I think that's more in line as what a go-kart feels when like. you get mm -hmm. when you get the turbo in F0 man and you hit yeah, a you ramp save all your turbos you, up. you can you can actually use that to skip parts on the track like rough patches or actually clear chasms that you yeah. otherwise would be safe well, from the guardrail. There's some levels, um, is it Deathwind, where like where it's constantly it's pushing blowing you. you. Yeah, so you you're like having to fight against it. That's mm -hmm. probably the big thing is the drifting versus the leaning in F-Zero. Mm -hmm. In F-Zero, you hit the shoulder buttons and you kind of lean, lean and scrape. Into, you lean into your... And then yeah. with Mario, you actually have the drifting mechanic, which was very rough at the time. Well, yeah. And I feel very like F-Zero just does a better job of the smooth control, yeah. getting that car where you want it. Yeah. I feel like F-Zero is a little bit better in the Sense where you can kind of jump in and kind of get a hold of it a little better than Mario Kart. Not that Mario Kart's too difficult to master, but I find that F Zero was a little. Dude, F Zero easier. is one hundred. Oh, I don't know. I disagree with that. Wait, say that again. I think F Zero is way did more difficult. Really? F Zero oh. spit you out. Oh, dude. I yes. Yeah. You're gonna see in the gameplay. I, I was like, I'm gonna put on standard mode, and I, I got ripped. Cause they, I was doing good the first two levels, okay. and I got yeah, ripped. You're right. Big blue, you're like, you're okay, right. I'm you're right. Okay. Oh, dude, when you get to the, like the first, like, the leagues, have, have mm -hmm. you gotten like to the third league? Yeah, the king. And dude, there's league, bombs the everywhere. League. We're gonna ignore that I said that just now. Well, it's and, and then you got those little, replay those, <laughs> you get those little those idiot AIs. That are in the way yeah. of the ground oh, calls. Yeah, like, I, didn't, I didn't even think about that. that. That's pretty know, nice. It's pretty nice that, that F Zero will actually like when you're in the lead. With Mario Kart, it's just like okay, I just gotta watch out for eyes behind me. But in F Zero, it's like I got traffic. I gotta watch out for these guys. I don't know who these guys are or why they're on this track, yeah. but they're in my way. And that yeah. glowy one's gonna blow up if I touch them. Yeah, yeah. And one hit from that, and you go, doo, 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 doo. you start, <laughs> you start flying around like a um, yeah, pink uh, pinball, like, like a um. What? I can't think of the word. Help me. I don't know. The game at the arcades. Oh, the, the air hockey Yes, table. air hockey. You're like an air hockey puck. <laughs> yeah, you go, do it happen? It's yeah. in the gameplay. You're probably seeing it right uh, now. Probably. But I will say this. This is one thing I'll give a, 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 a bonus point for Mario Kart. The cool thing, especially if you're not playing two-player, is you have the full map at the bottom that shows not you only that, yeah. where you are. Let's talk about this. You can change your character, and they all feel different for the yeah, most part. They all feel very you different. have your averages. You have your, your, your accelerators. Like Mario and Luigi feel the same. Um, Yoshi and Peach were real fast. Yeah, they're, slippery. Basically, they're basically different classes, but you get the four different cars to pick from in F-Zero. And at the end of the day, they all... Kind of, kind of feel pretty much the same. They some, have some so so once, once, once like you get, I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to uh, fact check it myself. Once you get to top speed, I mean, it's, they all pretty much feel it was pretty. Golden Fox. I was going, dude, Blue Falcon. 100%. I mean, I used to, as, a kid, wild as a kid. Goose. As a kid, I played Samurai Goro. I don't know why. Wild Goose. Wild Goose. Oh, that's oh, that Wild Goose. Isn't he an alien? 
Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a turtle. Yeah. 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 I know way too much about F Zero, by the way. <laughs> I played GX and I was yeah. obsessed with it whenever I was a kid. I, I if we're if we're gonna come back to though, I yeah, I, I think like F Zero was fast, it was cool, but like Mario Kart is just Oh yeah, items. Items. You can't yeah items. Like, you can't just it's, I love it's the, the items. You, 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 to quote you, it's just good old dang old fun. Get yeah, yeah get in the feather. Old dang old fun. Get in the feather, driving off the ramp on that one banshee boardwalk level. That's mm. what I call banshee boardwalk. Yeah, the ghost town. Uh, the ghost level. Yeah. And you jump it, you save it for that. Uh Shooting the green shell and 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 you could jump shooting some. You can jump shells with the, with the feather. Yes, you could. Yeah. That was pre. The only thing I didn't like about the original Super Mario Kart, which they axed after that, was like when you were playing single player, the um the computers would get special items like Bowser that was has cool. fireballs. And, yeah, pre and each that, has the the mushroom, the mushroom that shrinks you. That yeah yeah. Well, they, they, they weren't really that another thing. Battle mode. Oh gosh, yeah. yes, battle mode. You want to settle? Dude, Super Nintendo, yeah, the Super Nintendo uh, one. I feel like the Super Nintendo one is one of the best ones that ever made. I'm just saying. As far as battle mode, saying, battle mode, yes, hundred percent good. I, you know, I don't remember good. the battle mode that well. So it's I, I good. There was like four or five maps. But I like the fact that there is um, multiple modes. It's not just yeah. racing. You, you can do battle three or balloons? racing. Three, three balloons. balloons. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that man's good. Yeah, Asher was started. Good. Asher started playing. He, he played a little cart uh, on dude, side side. I'm sorry, I mean, I get distracted. But he didn't know what to do with okay, Mario Kart ball. Eight. <laughs> he got. He didn't know what to do. I was like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, I don't know what I'm doing, Dad. It's like that's battle mode, dude. Get out of that. Yeah. Get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that's not the first place you want to yeah, go. Yeah, no, no, you don't, don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. But like Steve said, that's where you settle your differences. Yeah. So I think I think for. to close it, I know we're probably missing a couple of uh, things points. here, oh, but right. I think I think Mario Kart is gonna have the better mechanics. Agreed. There. I, I it's just a, it has more variety, has more going for it, and it keeps things fresh. And I feel Agreed. like if I'm gonna play Mario Kart, if I'm gonna sit down and play Mario Kart, and I'm gonna sit down and play F Zero. I feel like I'm going to lose interest in F-Zero faster than I would Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Even if I'm playing single player. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually, when I was going back and replaying F-Zero, I actually rage quit and I couldn't finish. Oh, really? <laughs> I got mad. Wow, then I'm really remembering wrong. Because you see, for some reason, when I'm thinking of Did the Did you two, always just play on beginner and play the first three tracks? I guess so. Maybe so. Because those are first three tracks I'm really thinking, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, like, I'm picturing myself playing Mario Kart and just kind of, for the first time, I'm swerving all over the place. But I'm picturing the first time I played F-Zero and feeling like I kind of got the hang of it. So I, I'm probably just... And some of those tracks are just 90 degree turns, dude. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. um, what about what about visuals? That's kind of a lighter one. Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I kind of lean more I towards Mario like Kart too. They, they're both incredible looking games. I feel like the Mario characters look a little funny in it. Like uh, yeah. they look a little weird. There's a little Mode Seven going on with that. Uh, but especially I, if you do the real game. Yeah, but the environments, man. Like oh yeah, the environments in F Zero are, are cool. But like when you look off the guardrail, it's just like this weird scrambled up techno mess. Yeah. And then Mario Kart uses kind of all like the different greenery and water, and yeah. it feels like you're in the Mario universe, yes. just in on a racetrack. Yeah. Um, I mean, the sprites on F Zero may look a little better, but I agree. It's just I mean, it's it only so has, plain. It only has a couple sprites. Yeah. 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 Well, you have four racers, and then that's it. Pretty yeah. much. I yeah. mean, I think that's a result of F Zero being a tech demo. Yeah. So yeah. It, re it really was just a tech demo. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I think it was a really good tech demo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's not, um, not poo pooing on it. Uh, and okay. also visually. Um, the rotating around, like whenever you would finish a match, and just the pre the overall presentation, I think, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Like whenever you boot up F Zero, it just didn't, didn't like it's you're just straight in. You're like, whoa, okay, yeah, yeah here's my. Dun, dun, but dun, with Mario Kart, dun. you kind of had like a little bit more of a presentation value yeah. out of it, like the little intro. The little, They're riding across the bottom, yeah. yeah. And everybody shooting I each other. I think just from a presentation uh, presentation standpoint, you've got more going on with Mario Kart as well. Exactly. Uh, no, this is this is a big one. Audio. I gotta say F Zero. Yeah, F Zero, baby. Yeah, yeah. F Zero. So <laughs> yeah, better just, music. F Zero has got a fantastic soundtrack. Ma awesome. Look now, iconic no. bangers are on on that soundtrack. Ma Mario Kart's got a Mar lot of variety. It's it got does. Good it's it's stuff. got great music. Special that battle music. Rainbow Road. Oh yeah, I'm not hating on it, but I mean, come on, man. Also, I believe. Um, I can't remember who composed it, but it was a female composer, and that was a big deal at the time. That's cool. And yeah. I think they also credited her as a female. Good. Uh, in there, that's a big deal. Uh, let, let me look up who that composer was. Just. F Zero, Come on, man, man, Big Blue, Mute City, uh, stinking. Even even Death Wind, like all of those, it's just fast. F Zero 90s, got some bangers. Fast, not fast. Nineties techno, early techno, just feel techno good. Techno metal, you know, like, like hit the nos pre uh, Fast and the Furious. You know, it just it's all of that into just crammed into uh, just like and then also I mean Mario Kart's music got progressively better. It did, uh, but I gotta say that battle mode music is really. 
actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really good. It's good. It's really good. But come on, man. But F Zero is consistently good. F Zero's got better music. Bangers, dude. Bangers. F Zero does also have less sound design going on. Yeah. You get more sound effects with the items popping off in Mario Kart as well. True. But I think from just music. The music puts it ahead. 100%. I feel so. Without a doubt. Yep. Yep. Story! (laughs) I guess F Zero technically. Has a story. More right? in-depth with the characters. Yeah. Who knew that stinking Blue Falcon was a stinking bounty hunter until you read the manual? Yeah, yeah you need an instruction manual to know the story. And Mario Kart, Goro's fat. Mario Kart's just like, hey, we're racing Mario Kart. Yeah. So let's so, set aside our differences and, and race. Um, which one was more revolutionary for the time? Ooh, um, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart. I agree. I think F Zero was revolutionary when it came out. It's just Mario Kart came out and took what it did and was like, "Hey, we can do something more yeah. interesting with this." I mean, are there any other racers out there before them that had like items and tracks and stuff like that? Uh, uh probably kind the NES, of, but not there was like ro- this. There was exactly. Road Blasters, but they were very crude. Yeah. Exactly. Did they have items that mm-hmm. you could use shoot them? stuff and Road Blasters would boost and stuff? It was again very crude, very yeah. like early, like you're kind of just. You know, the track does this. And you I think I think also track. one of the big deals with this, though, is like not only were they items, but they were like items in the universe of Mario that mm-hmm. just made sense. Characters yeah. in the universe of Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Who thought a banana peel, right? Yeah, yeah Donkey Kong's yeah. got bananas. Mm-hmm. Yo. Uh, what about standing the test of time? I'm gonna go with Mario in this one. Uh, bo- they both Mario still play great. I would still say it's okay. about a tie for yeah. me because honestly, if you've gone back and played them, F Zero is really difficult. Mm-hmm. It gets kind of, um, I don't want to say it loses my me personally. It loses, it loses my attention mm-hmm. pretty quickly. But also with Mario Kart, other than uh, the, other than nostalgia, I feel like almost every other Mario Kart is better. 100 percent. Kind of yeah, 64 came in. And but went, the, but this I see the same about the F Zeros too. Though. And that was my primary argument against F Zero. Yeah, is that they, they I'll be feel. honest, neither one of them really did that particularly well as far as the test of time is concerned. Because if I'm going to play either one of these games, a, ser- a game in these series, it's going to be one of the newer ones. Sure. Well, especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially in the case of F Zero. I have to now, get- I'm more likely to pick up Super Mario Kart because of the nostalgia factor, and I think that yeah. kind of gives it the edge for me. That's absolutely right. But as far as, like, uh, you know, between the two of them, man, I gotta go with Mario Kart. If yeah. I'm stuck Ooh, on an island, reason. and the SNES is the only car- uh, game I have, <clears> and I'm like, I'm gonna race a movie today, and I have both the cartridges in my hand, I'm, I'm going Mario Kart. I agree. Time. You just have so much more variety. Yeah. You've got, so the, you've got I, the three I, cups, plus guess, the special cup. I guess we can move on to voting, then. Yeah, I, I mean, we didn't talk about represents the console. Oh, represents the console. Mario yeah, Kart. without a doubt. Yeah. I'm gonna go first uh, this time. I right, go ahead. All right. So it really wasn't that difficult of a decision. I mean, uh, you know, F Zero, fantastic for what it did. It really was a good way to kind of be it, but to, it was really a good idea, like a good out of the box original yeah, idea yeah, thing and it stuff was. like that. But at the end of the day, it's just a tech demo, like Brandon said. It is. That is all it is, and it really didn't do much else. So I gotta go with Mario Kart, man. Mario Kart is my pick. The music could have carried F Zero because the music is very, very strong, and they did come back on the on the Nintendo sixty four and really impressed with F Zero for the sixty four. But man, just Mario Kart is just revolutionary. I mean, if you say the word Mario. Nine times out of ten, they're going to think of the games Mario, but man, there's going to be a good chunk of the population that says Mario Kart. Mario That's going to think of Mario Kart. And this was the one that started it off. Not only that, but they inspired other game companies to make their own. Kart. Maybe not this one in particular. Maybe it was more so Mario Kart 64. But this is the one that started it off. Uh, Mario Kart. I'm going to cast my vote also for Mario Kart. And I was going to say pretty much what's, what Steve just said, which is it created its own genre. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's really good. I think it stands the test of time pretty fun. It's it's still fun. My favorite thing to go back to is probably Battle Mode at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's it really is good. And it has incredible music. Both these games are incredible. Look, whenever we have to pick a loser in this, I always feel guilty because these are all incredible games. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I'm not hit, we again. have to we have to again state that gonna lose. these are all our favorite and best games of and what we think represents the console. They all made it. 
And I look behind you, and that's just a, a handful of games that, that are super. Why is Doom games. not on here? I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, look, take a, your vote. Yeah, I mean it doesn't matter, but but um, no, it F- does. I want to hear what you have to say. F Zero is um, you matter. It's fast. It's fun. It's furious. Wait, you, you picked F Zero? No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it goes back to what Brendan said. And again, I, I played it again recently this week, and it just. I just got to a, a couple of tracks. I'm like, well, it's the same track. The color's still the same. The background. Deathwind are... two. Oh. Or Red Canyon three. Oh. Mute City four. But then Mario Kart, man. Mario Kart's my pick. Not for everything that's been stated. And this is one thing I was going to use for a selling point, not that we didn't sell it, but um, you know, you you there, there's re, there's replayability is what I'm trying to say. Mario Kart will never need any kind of promotion from no, anyone. No, no, <laughs> no. But what I'm saying is like there's replayability there. Like, sure. I don't want to go back and try Samurai Gore now, if I were to go back and play F-Zero. I want to go back and play the different things, and we didn't mention this with Mario Kart. I want to play the different drivers. They all have different win animations. And different difficulties, yeah. Different difficulties, yeah. they all feel different. So, And then, of course, battle modes. So there's just so much replayability. And then, of course, all the things that the gentleman next to me have said. So, Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart for the win, man. Yes! Winner! Super Mario Kart. <laughs> Super Mario Kart leaves F-Zero in the dust and moves forward in our tournament. Will it carry the racing genre to the top, or will it burn out before the finish line? Subscribe to find out, and don't forget to leave us a like and comment down below on how you feel about these two great games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.